Always tracking first to alert. Time now for that ABC 7 first alert. If you're just joining us, Doppler Dave issued that first alert because Doppler, we are in for a pretty downright cold. I made the comment earlier. It feels like we're in the Midwest to Chicago weather. <laughs> you know, you're right, because we're going to have a wind chill, which is really going to make it feel quite cold. It's primarily going to be for you folks on the east and northeast sides of town, but the front is going to continue to push through here, and the winds are going to pick up, and you'll feel some of the colder air arriving in here. Now, with the winds overnight, that's going to keep the overnight low temperatures a little bit warmer. We're going to be in the low to mid 30s. We're going to mix that air up here at the surface, so it's not going to be as cold as if we had calm winds and a cold air mass in place and a clear sky overnight. But certainly the winds will have a big bite for you folks out the east and northeast sides of town. We'll have lots of sunshine that we're going to be tracking another front that's going to be pushing in here on Friday and that's going to cool us down for the upcoming weekend. So here's what we were talking about. Wind speeds out of the northwest, gusts to 40. You folks on the east and northeast sides of town between midnight in 7 o'clock. Now what happens after 7 o'clock? The winds will gradually begin to decrease. We'll have a lot of sunshine throughout the day tomorrow. And those wind chills for you folks on the east and northeast sides of town. Going to make it feel like 15 degrees. And that's not the actual temperature, but when you combine the winds and the actual air temperatures, we'll have that wind chill again feeling like 15. So 40 mile an hour gusts early tomorrow. Then as we make our way through the morning hours, winds will come down. Our next wind event, not going to be dealing with a whole lot of strong winds, maybe on uh, Friday. You'll notice those winds at about uh, 20 and then down to about 15 to 20 for the weekend. So here's your planner for the rest of tonight. 7 o'clock at 49, 9 o'clock at 47. By 11 o'clock, the winds will start to pick up. They'll be westerly and then changing to the northwest after midnight behind that front. So here's what we're going to be dealing with those overnight low temperatures. Socorro 35, Fort Bliss at 36, Anthony, Texas will be at 30 degrees. Your high temps tomorrow with lots of sunshine going to be in the low to mid 50s. Donata County for you folks going to be in the 30s, some upper 20s, and your high temps tomorrow going to be in the 50s. As we jump ahead over the next 6 to 10 days, above average temperatures when it comes to precip, we should be more on the dry side. Overnight, temperatures down to 35. Tomorrow, we'll make it up to 53 degrees. Again, early winds, Las Cruces down to 27. Your high temp tomorrow will make it up to 51. Watch over the next several days, 55 on Wednesday, 60 on Thursday. By the way, this pick was from last February, the 5th, 4th and 5th, when we had that snowstorm and we have temperatures cooling down into the 50s over the weekend. We'll take a break and more news after this.